Hi students, welcome back to our channel Chemistry Land. Today in the video we are going to see about the topic that is ion exchange process or demineralization process. So let us see about the external conditioning. External conditioning means that is uh, before the water which is feed into the boiler, the salts which uh, producing the hardness is removed that is called as external conditioning. So what is meant by ion exchange or demineralization process that is uh, the process in this process almost all the ions that is anions and cations are removed in this process. So in this process uh, the let us see about the cation exchanger and anion exchanger. So these two exchanges are used in this demineralization process. Let us know about the cation exchanger that is the resins which are acidic functional groups that is carboxylic acid SO3HRD uh, present in the cation exchanger which is capable of exchanging the H plus ions with other cations of hot water. It is represented as H2 that is the H plus ions are uh, exchanged with other cations present in the hot water. So this is the cation exchanger and next one is the anion exchanger that is the resins which are which containing the basic functional groups that is uh, NH2 and OH. Um, this groups exchanging the uh, anions with other anions of hot water that is the representation is ROH twice. Let us see the process first one the hot water which is passed to the cation exchanger which absorbs all the cations like calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium present in the hot water. So the hot water first passed into the cation exchanger so all the cations are absorbed. Let us see the reaction uh, that is calcium chloride plus RH2 uh, this that is this is the cation exchanger the general representation of this RH2 so it absorbs all the cations that is RCA plus 2 HCl. The same by RH2 plus magnesium sulphate the sulphates of magnesium which is present in the hot water gives RMG plus sulfuric acid and RH plus sodium chloride that is salts of um, salt which is present in the water so RNA plus HCl. So next one in the next step that is the water which is free from cations passed to anion exchange column. So it absorbs all the anions present in the water that is Cl minus sulphate HCO3 minus present in the water that is this is carbonate bicarbonate. So let us see the reaction ROH twice that is anion exchange plus 2 HCl gives RCl2 plus water molecule and also ROH twice plus sulphate ion that is sulfuric acid. So it absorbs the anions that is it absorbs the anions that is Cl sulphate ion plus water molecule. So these are the two process takes place in this. Uh, cation exchanger and anion exchanger. Next one we will see about the regeneration. So the cation exchanger is exhausted. So it is once again regenerated by passing the acidic solution dilute HCl or dilute sulfuric acid. The same wise anion exchanger resin is exhausted. So it is regenerated by passing dilute sodium hydroxide. So the RCA plus Acidic solution HCl gives RH2 plus CaCl2. So the cation exchange resin is regenerated. RNA plus acidic solution HCl gives RH plus NaCl. So the cation exchange resin is regenerated. Next one, the same wise, the anion exchange resin is exhausted. So it is regenerated by acid sodium hydroxide gives ROH twice plus 2 NaCl. So this is the regeneration process. So that is all about the external conditioning that is ion exchange or demineralization process. Uh, we had seen about the cation exchanger and anion exchanger. The process takes place in the cation and anion exchanger and the regeneration processes. So the diagrammatic representation uh, um, the, uh, is uh, given in the book. So if you all like this video, please share this video, like it and comment it. Please subscribe our channel Chemistry Learn and also support our channel. Thank you.